Good morning, world. It's time to get up. Come on, get up out of that bed. It's the one on the top today, the Chase Man Smith. Right here with SKD Entertainment, SKD TV, Studio W Buzz, Global Radio. We come to get you up so you can get down. Come on, come on, come on. Get up. Yeah. A brand new day. Oh yeah, I can see the new sun shine, shine, shine. Before you start your day, make sure you count your blessings one by one. Get up, get up, get down, yeah. Get up, get down, yeah. Get up, get down, yeah. Get up. Welcome everybody, it's the one of Pastor Derek the Change Man Smith and you're right here at the top of the hour with the Get Down, the Get Down, Get Up, the Get Down morning show with the one and only Pastor Derek the Change Man Smith of SKD Entertainment, SKD TV, Studio W Buzz, Global Radio, bringing it to you live and in color. Yes sir, yes sir. Want to say good morning to you, good morning, good morning, good morning, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, today is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. Put a smile on your face. Put some pep in your step and just realize that even though your steps may be, uh, there may be some things crowded in your way that somebody can't even move. Yeah, make sure you have the right perspective in your calibration today. And the right perspective is to know that today is the day that the Lord has made. It is the first of the month, y'all. It is the first of the month. We are sitting right here almost halfway into the year. Y'all know it's going to be Christmas before you know it. But I just want to let you know this right here. Check this out. Oh, yes, sir. It's the first of the month, y'all, right here on SKD Entertainment, Studio W Buzz, Global Radio. Get up to get that morning show. And for some folks, this is a great time of the month because it's the time where you're getting some income, some money is hitting your bank account. For some folks, this is not a good time because you got to pay some rent, pay your mortgage, whatever you got going on. But I just want to give you my unsolicited advice whatever your financial plot is handle your responsibilities first I'm telling you for someone who has tried it all kinds of other ways it just doesn't work I would like to encourage you to make sure that you do the right thing with your substance and if you do that the Lord will honor you and he will bless you with more make sure you take care of those that have taken care of you during the month when you're running low, when you're running slow, make sure that you pay them back right now. Do it right now. All right, we're going to go back into the crates just a little bit. I'm going to tell y'all why right after this song right here. Come on, fellas. Gangsta lean, that gangsta lean. 
on the message for me ha. Tell him put down those dice for a second, Lord Listen to his homie Could you tell him I'll never let go of his memory So his son will know ha. You don't have to cry no more Cause God's got his back That's in the gangster lean And also my boys in the pen And they ain't gonna never see the street again Cause you know what? It don't matter what they was doing while they was here They could've been banging, slanging But they ain't here no more and that's somebody's daddy, somebody's baby That's somebody's homie So go on let them rest in peace while they in that gangster lean You know what I'm saying? And that's on the real low This is for my homie Taking you all the way back. Yes, sir. Right here on the Get Up to Get Down Morning Show with the one on Pastor Derek the Change Man Smith. DRS. Gangsta Lean. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That right there is Gangsta Lean from DRS, y'all. That's a throwback for you right there. And I just want to give a shout out to my dude, Lamar Lubin, who is... Uh, one of the lead singers of DRS still out here doing his thing, man, uh, out on the West Coast and uh, and abroad. And also, I want to give a great big shout out to my dude DJ Cali Remixes. Also has joined DRS on stage doing his thing. DJ Cali, man, I'm proud of you. I saw some footage of you out there holding holding down your part man i just want to say uh keep doing what you do my brother i look forward to coming out to texas and hanging out with you guys very very soon speaking of hanging out y'all i got an announcement to make uh the tour has been titled and is now accepting dates it's called soul versation s-o-u-l hyphen v-e-r-s-a-t-i-o-n soul versations we're having conversations with the soul soul to soul through music and i want you to know it's going to be amazing uh we have a date that's coming to tampa on august the 20th at the level up rental hall with uh iris hayes and y'all don't want to miss that i've got all the way from texas coming to to make sure she stirred the ship is the one and only lady coco casanova yeah she's so bad y'all she come with her own theme song y'all got it run run lady coco song right quick run run, run that thing come on Ha <laughs> 
That's her, y'all, Lady Coco Casanova. Got her own song, The Girl So Smooth. She Walk, what a theme song. Yes, sir. She's coming all the way from Texas to host this wonderful event. And also, I have the one and only DJ JT Taylor coming to be on the ones and twos on Crowd Control. It's going to be an amazing night, August the 20th. Yeah, you don't want to miss it. It's called uh, Soul Versation. S O U L hyphen V E R S A. T-I-O-N. We have more cities being added. We'll let you know as they come about. We're working hard out here, y'all. Doing our own thing. Self-sponsored, self-promoting. And uh, I'm really excited about that. So, yeah. Make sure you lock in your calendars uh, August the 20th. Meet me in Tampa, Florida. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're working on some dates, y'all. Working on some dates. All right. So, uh, let's see. It is the top of the week, y'all. It is Monday. And, uh... Sometimes people have the Monday blues, you know what I'm saying? You had a great weekend, now you gotta go back into go back to work and uh deal with them people. Deal with them folks. And let me just say this. A lot of times we talk about them folks, but sometimes we become them folks. So I just wanna give a public service announcement to everybody that's gotta go to work today. Come on, y'all, have a little patience. Do your best to try to not be so doggone petty. And uh, make sure you try to create, be a part of creating a great work environment. If you are going out in the world today and you got to deal with folks that are handling customer service, come on, make it, make an attempt to do the best you can to make it a great day today. Yeah, make it a great day. All right, y'all, we got some more uh, information coming up, but right now I feel like we want to groove a little bit. Let's ride.
played your dog gon' sell. Woo! Uh uh. Listen, now if your lover is always checking on you, it's because they try to cover up all the dirt they do. Said I didn't say nothing, neither was the brother tripping. Because all the time you was checking on me, you were slipping. Now that it's all over, I forgive you, baby. But I moved on. I found me another lover. And I don't have to worry about her checking my cell phone. When I lay down at night. Baby, you had a good thing in me, but baby, you never treated me right. It's all over now. You see, I gave everything till I didn't have nothing left. By now, you know you played yourself. That's what you did. You played your dog on self. It's too bad, too bad. Oh, I hate to do it to you, save. All right. Play on it now. Mr. Sip said you played your dog on Sip. Yeah, I was a good man. Yes, sir. Gave you everything that you wanted, but you played your dog on Sip. You thought you was playing me, but whoops, the joke is on you. Yes, sir. And we heard not only from Mr. Sip, we also heard from my brother from another mother, Jeta Jones, with a song that says, put the quarter in the jukebox. I really, really, really like that song, y'all. Looking forward to doing some things with um, my brother, we've been talking and got some things in the work. So I look forward to, to doing that with him. Man, God has been so good to me. He has blessed me to connect with some awesome people from around the world in all types of markets. Gospel, blues, country, jazz, hip hop, soul, southern soul, r and I'm just excited, y'all. Just excited to be able to do what God has called me to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. It's uh it's now time for some birthdays, y'all. But I tell you what, let's get some commercials out the way and then we'll be right back after this. SKD Entertainment would like to announce that we are now accepting bookings for the hostess with the mostest, the one and only Lady Coco, Coco Casanova. Casanova. Weddings, festivals, concerts, baby showers, church and ministry events. Call 813-649-7977. That's right, 813-649-7977. Come and get this Coco. Derek the Change Man Smith and Cross Serve Ministries International presents Unleash the Superwoman. Join us on May 13th at 4 p.m. at the SK Entertainment Soundstage for an evening of celebration and elevation. 
Unleash the Superwoman is a synergy event designed to expose the superpowers that women possess. There will be great singing and powerful messages by various presenters. Sitting is limited, so get your tickets today at Unleash the Superwoman at Eventbrite.com. Again, that's Unleash the Superwoman at Eventbrite.com. We'll see you there. Midtown Auto Connection is your connection to cars and credit. What if my credit is bad? We can help. I co-signed for a car for my daughter and she lost it. We can help. I don't get paid with a pay stub. We can help. How? Our finance program is called Jumpstart. It is dedicated to those that may have some bumps and bruises in the past. However, but have a strong desire to renew, rebuild, and restore faith in your name. But I bet you're going to have me in a car for 22 years trying to pay for it, won't you? The Jumpstart program is ideal for rebuilding credit. The loans are short, the interest is low, and the payments are always affordable. But what if I want something very specific and you don't have it? Then what, Mr. Good Two Shoes? Midtown Auto Connection specializes in orders. Tell us exactly what you want and we'll go out and get it for you. So don't delay. Call today, 434-234-8131. Again, that's 434-234-8131. Or hit us up on Facebook or any social media platform. Midtown Auto Connection, your connection to cars and credit. Come get your car. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm gonna walk away from the love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I'm gonna walk away from the love. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I don't love you, cause you know I'm. Touch my hand, yeah, and a dread that shakes my whole body. Even I don't understand, so I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Yeah. Yes, I this time I'm gonna play it yes, smart. I'm gonna walk away from love.
Can't you see? I tried this love thing before now, baby. Yes, sir. And it never worked out for me. Oh, no. I've been lied to, baby. Yes. I've been deceived before. Uh-huh. And I promised myself. Don't walk away from love, baby. It's the one on the Pastor Derek the Change Man Smith. That was yours truly singing out the depths of my heart, y'all. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I love that old school stuff, y'all. I just can't help it. I know it ain't popular, but it sure is good. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing like when music expresses itself. Y'all know what I'm talking about? When a man is opening his mouth and he's actually saying something and you can feel it. Man, ain't nothing better than that. When a woman is pouring out her heart and she's letting you know how much you've heard of her, man, ain't nothing better than that. Or when you hear about how somebody cheated and you left them and got your heart broken and, Lord, you can feel the pain all in their throat. Ain't nothing better than that. That's what you call soul music. Yeah, y'all can keep that other watered down stuff. I wrote a song not too long ago that says, Who Stole the Soul? Yeah, don't worry about it. Because whoever it is, I want you to know I'm taking it back. I'm bringing it back. Going to drop it in your lap because you got to have soul, soul, soul. All right. Listen, it's 25 minutes before the hour and we got to get in these birthdays right quick. I want to go ahead and uh, start it off right here. I want to say uh, out there in Georgia to Drummer Boy Williams, happy birthday, my brother. Yes, sir. Today is your day. Happy birthday to you. To Miss Liz Strait, we want to say happy birthday to you robin lavelle girl today is your day happy birthday to you gaston lee bell yeah promoter to the stars happy birthday to you miss shanika nobles girl it's so good to see you you're looking good happy birthday to you shakara williams we want to say girl today is your day happy birthday to you miss geraldine washington girl today is your day happy birthday to you miss dina brown Getting down, downtown. Happy birthday to you, Miss Jessica Albino. Yeah, happy birthday to you. And to Nelson Penola. We want to say happy birthday to you. But last but not least, we want to say to the superintendent of all superintendents, we want to say to preacher man, anointed man, the man who knows the word, breaks the word. And he loves the word Superintendent Watkins We want to say Happy birthday to you Alright y'all listen If you want your birthday or anniversary shouted out 
here on the Get Up to Get Down Morning Show. All you got to do is just send me an email at skdentertainment at gmail.com and we'll get it out. So happy birthday to everybody. Happy anniversary to anybody that's celebrating anniversaries. And uh, any other reason that you got a reason to celebrate new babies, new job, new cars, new house, new hair, new teeth. We want to say congratulations to you and we are celebrating with you on today. And so much so, we got a superstar that's going to sing happy birthday to y'all. Come on here, Jennifer Hudson, girl. Sing that thing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Leroy. What is it? Leroy, get up. Oh, go on, man. You got to sit down. Leroy, I got your pill. Well, my blood pressure pill, I already took that. You, you, you know what time it is, man. Oh, you got that pill. Get up, man. Oh, okay. Pick it up. Swing me, baby. Thank you. 
In the 
bottom drawer There are pictures of you and I And sometimes when I'm feeling low Sometimes when I'm feeling down I look at your pictures When we went to the county fair And I want you But if you have anything left for me, if you have anything left for me, tell me, I'll tell me, cause I'm going, I'm going crazy. Yes, sir, that show is truly right there talking about crazy. Lord, have mercy, just done lost my mind because I'm crazy about you, girl. Yes, I'm so crazy. Here at the get up to get down morning show, I'm crazy. But call me at 813 yeah. 649 uh-huh. 7977. Tell them again 813 yeah. 649. Oh yeah, seven nine seven seven. If you call me, girl, I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. If you need somebody I'll answer. to sing you a song, I'll answer. I'll, I'll answer. If you need somebody I'll to rock you to sleep, I'll answer. but one thing, I'll answer. if you need money, I won't answer. I won't answer. I won't answer. If you got bad keys, I won't answer. I won't answer. I won't answer. Need to borrow my car. I won't answer. I won't answer. I won't answer. I won't answer. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Call us at 813-649-7977. Set is 813-649. Seven nine seven seven. Come on, that's how you book Pastor Derek, the Change Man Smith, and all of the SK Entertainment artists. Eight one three six four nine seven nine seven seven. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. We having a great time here to get up to get down morning show. Doing a little spicy stuff, putting a little extra on you today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Now it is time. Four, ask Pastor Derek. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's see what we got today. And listen, if you have any questions that you are struggling with, any scenarios, please feel free to reach out to us here at skdentertainment at gmail.com. Again, that's skdentertainment at gmail.com. And just send uh, an email to Pastor Derek. They'll make sure I get it. And uh, we'll probably deal with it online if it's something that's real juicy, like the one that's today. Dear Pastor Derek, I'm at a loss about how to deal with my sister Cynthia. We had an incredibly hard childhood. We lost our mother when she was only 48 years old. My issue with Cynthia is her constant and blatant storytelling. She has two young children and is recently divorced. While I feel terrible about her situation and have gladly been there to help her, her lies drive me up the wall. The things she makes up, the things the things she makes up are so bizarre. They make me cringe. She's obvious about it and it screams red flags. I'm proud. I'm a proud aunt to my niece and my nephew and I don't want to pick want them to pick up this habit from her. I know Cynthia would be willing to admit that she has a problem because she becomes extremely defensive when faced with anything she needs to work on. What can I do? All right. I know I kind of botched that up a little bit, so let me redo it again. Dear Pastor Derek, I'm at a loss about how to deal with my sister Cynthia. We had an incredibly hard childhood. We lost our mother when she was only 48. My issue with Cynthia is her consistent and blatant storytelling. She has two young children and is recently divorced. While I feel terrible about her situation and have gladly been there to help her, her lies drive me up the wall. 
The things she makes up are so bizarre that they make me cringe. She's obvious about it, and it screams red flags. I'm a proud aunt to my niece and nephew, and I do not want them to pick up this habit from her. I know Cynthia would not be willing to admit she has a problem because she becomes extremely defensive when faced with anything she needs to work on. What can I do? Oh, that's going to be a good one right there, y'all. That's going to be a real good one right there. Let's get into a little bit of music, and we'll come right back and deal with that right after this. Yes, sir. Dear Pastor Derek, I'm at a loss of how to deal with my sister, Cynthia. We had an incredible hard childhood, and we lost our mother when she was only 48. My issues with Cynthia is her constant, constant and blatant storytelling. She has two young children and is recently divorced. While I feel terrible about her situation, I've been gladly been there to help her, but her lives drive me up the wall. The things she makes up are so bizarre. They make me cringe. She's obvious about it and it screams red flags. I'm proud 
to be an aunt to my niece and nephew and I don't want them to pick up this habit from her. I know Cynthia would not be willing to admit she has a problem because she becomes extremely defensive when faced with anything she needs to work on. What can I do? All right, here's what you can do. Uh, what you can do is put up the necessary boundaries for yourself for your own sanity because Cynthia has made up in her mind that lying is better than telling the truth and there's nothing that you can do with that you can talk until you're blue in the face but change ain't change until you change and unfortunately uh, your niece and your nephew uh, they will be collateral damage because they will see the life of a liar they will see how people don't trust a liar and um and they will uh, pick up the ways of a liar and then they will be able to to lie and it will be up to them totally of how they deal with that lying spirit. Um, but I have found out that when people have any type of character flaw, until they are willing and ready and able to deal with it, it's nothing you can do but put it in the hands of the Lord. So many times we try to change people and we see areas uh, in their lives that needs to be corrected. Just as others can look at us and see areas of our lives that need to be corrected but it's only until an individual decide that they want help will they actually receive help so until then um, if you're finding out that she's very defensive um, talking about anything that requires her to deal with um, self-mastery then you your best bet is to leave that alone find a way for you to deal with your sister as, as much as you can um, but also put a, a layer there of boundaries and uh, for your own sanity. I'm sorry that this is happening with your sister. And I'm also sorry that you guys have had a rough childhood. But a lot of us are having rough encounters in life. That doesn't excuse you to lie and create things and uh, make up things uh, to combat your insecurity. You know, I would suggest to her and to anyone else you know get with somebody that can talk you through this thing and that's going to hold you accountable and get rid of that lying spirit listen the clock on the wall said that's all i want to thank y'all so very much for hanging out with me here at the get up to get down morning show it has been a wonderful monday don't you don't you dare don't you dare miss tomorrow because y'all know it's blues day on tuesday i love y'all so very much studio w buzz global radio let's keep buzzing baby we up out of here and remember y'all change ain't change until you change this has been 